Energy Summit and Exhibition is all about sharing ideas, building relationships and helping to set the agenda for developing a sustainable energy future in Papua New Guinea. Day one of the program showcased some of the most impressive technological advances which are being implemented here in PNG to ensure that the country is at the forefront of innovation when it comes to new energy project development. There are three levels of sponsorship catering to the fourth energy summit. Gold sponsorship goes to ExxonMobil, PNG LNG, Santos and Total Energies. The silver sponsorship is MRDC, Twinza and Vodafone. The bronze is for ANZ High Arctic Services and JX Nippon. In his welcome remarks, KPHL Managing Director Wapu Song said KPHL appreciated the commitment and effort of the international visitors in being present for the summit post-COVID. In the global context, although PNG is only a small, small producer of <coughs> LNG, I think its strategic location to the Asian market is more important and it makes us an important player in the industry and the supply of energy to the Asian market especially. We did it rich diversity in renewable energy sources, PNG has the potential to be a regional exporter of green energy or blue energy, maybe blue energy first, in ammonia and hydrogen. PNG is blessed with both renewable and non-renewable resources, and proper development of this will underpin national development for decades to come. All it needs is government and industry to work together. Minister for Petroleum and Energy Karangakua in his keynote address spoke of the government's policy and decided outcomes for 2022 as sought of from the petroleum and energy sectors in PNG. I'm pleased to see representatives of all major resource development companies active in the country here today. We are all going to be working together over the next few years in both the petroleum and energy sectors in this country. Minister Kua was also representing Prime Minister Marape and Honorable William Duma in their absence for the summit. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.